Welcome to Rustle Up Some Grub, the show dedicated to entomophagy and all the incredible ways you can eat insects. Today we're making a springtime cricket pesto, but instead of using a traditional basil base, we're using a plant that many people consider a weed, called stinging nettle. This plant is a sure sign of spring and can be found in backyards, gardens, stream banks, and even along the road. Their characteristic serrated leaves have stinging hairs on the underside that are quite unpleasant if you brush up against them. Always use a glove when harvesting and handling before cooking to avoid a painful sting. Now, instead of adding traditional pine nuts to this recipe, we're going to be adding crickets. The crickets we're going to be using today are from Big Cricket Farms in Youngstown, Ohio. Check out the link in the description below. Now, when you're using crickets, you want to treat them like any other kind of meat. They need to be cooked first before they're safe to eat. These are the stinging nettles I collected. I just used a plastic bag and filled it about three quarters of the way full. When you're harvesting your stinging nettles, make sure they come from a place that hasn't been exposed to pesticides or herbicides. And this holds true for anything you're harvesting outside. Now let's take a look at the ingredients for this recipe. For this recipe, you'll need three quarters of a cup of crickets, about a half pound of nettles, or about three quarters of a plastic bag full, five cloves of garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, black pepper to your liking, one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, one cup of extra virgin olive oil, and one third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. First start by cutting the leaves off the stems. When you've removed the leaves from the stem, wash all the greens with water. Next, place them in a pot of boiling water and let them boil for about one minute. This will deactivate the stingers on the underside of the leaf. And now you should have about a cup of cooked nettles. Pour the crickets into a small pan of boiling water. Let them boil for about a minute and then drain. Now add your garlic, crickets, salt, and pepper to your food processor. Puree these ingredients until they're finely chopped. Now you'll add in the cooked nettles and the lemon juice. Puree until it's well blended. Now add in the olive oil a little bit at a time to make sure it's mixed evenly. Now for the last step, add the Parmesan cheese and puree till it's smooth. And there you have it, a recipe that combines local foraging, sustainable protein, and takes us on another culinary adventure. <music>